Hey everyone, Shadow Rockets here, and today I have some just gameplay of you, some raw footage, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep calling it raw because I do get 29 kills. However, I do not lead my team to victory. Sadly, I just I could not carry hard enough, as my friends would put it. But that is a-okay because I had a good time and it was it was just great. It was a great game, great gameplay. So uh, start off pretty early, getting that sword that is just a great way to control the map and I use it to its full capacity here in this game I do believe I get an entire 10 kill streak just on the sword in maybe maybe two minutes so it was it was a powerful tool to have I used the sniper and the rocket pretty effectively as well and of course so much battle rifle so enjoy the team BRs in Halo 2 and I don't know if you checked out my self-help video that I uploaded on Monday so sorry I couldn't upload on Tuesday it was just really busy I'm trying to get everything planned out so that I can upload videos while I'm gone this weekend or at least on Thursday and Friday and I believe I'm gonna be uploading a vlog maybe on Saturday maybe on Sunday but I am going out of town this weekend and I do want to keep you friends updated I got that nice snipe right around the corner it looked like it counted but it doesn't seem to have counted I don't I don't know I wanted to let them know that I did have a sniper right behind them so I shot them once and then pulled out the sword I I like having fun like that <laughs> it's a, it's a waste of ammo however I also realized that if I do die then it's totally worth it because then they don't get as many shots with the sniper rifle and plus I know that I can use the sniper rifle relatively effectively at mid to long ranges note that I did not say short range because I, I don't like to think that I'm very good at no scoping as you could see earlier totally missed that no scope or the two no scopes so I do have the rockets now and I do get this double kill coming up however it ends my first streak of 10 which is just heartbreaking because I really wanted to just keep going however there I am, 10 and 1. So, I just push ever onward throughout this entire game. I'm pretty consistent, I would say, all the way through the end. Uh, I have two just major kill streaks, and I believe I have another one as well, just like a, a little killing spree somewhere here or there. So, uh, they do have the upper hand in this situation, 3v1. So, that was just not good for me to go into. I was just really thinking that I could terrorize them, and maybe my teammates would come around the corner. I really wasn't paying attention to my teammates as in how well they were doing and I didn't realize that they weren't doing so great so I truly relied on them a little too much as opposed to what I should have so that's not good however I do want to take the time to talk about not the self-help video because I already talked about that and I do enjoy it so if you do also I, I want to inform you that I think I'm gonna do self-help videos on maybe Mondays I think I want to make it a weekly thing it's not gonna be an everyday sort of thing and I am gonna go as in-depth as I did this last time but I do also want to take your recommendations because I know that we all have problems and if I'm not quite getting to yours that might be very frustrating to you so go ahead and let me know right here I forgot that the red team was the opposite team and so I did not turn towards the person I turned away from them thinking they were my teammate and I got wrecked in the back so that was a bush league error however I come over here thinking that the sword is gonna be respawned and I do get my wish whenever I pick up the sword I tend to just put it away instantly unless someone's right next to me because I don't want people to know I have it I know a lot of people have turtle beaches or whatever what have you astro gaming headsets so I I try not to let the quote-unquote sound whores uh, get that benefit of knowing that I have the sword. I come right around here and get that overkill, which is not an overkill in Halo 2, which is a little, a little sad, I, I guess. At least he doesn't say overkill, so it is a killtacular in Halo 2. However, this does not end my spree. I do just they spawn right next to me. Thanks, Halo 2. Very wise of you to spawn them right here. And I just keep terrorizing these poor, this poor enemy team. However, they are still winning by two points. I just... I tried keeping it as close as possible. I played very aggressively. Obviously, I have the sword, so it works in my favor to play r relatively aggressively. And Halo 2 is... It's kind of got a high skill cap, even though it, it feels really easy to those who have been playing all the Halos because of that quote-unquote hit scan. I don't want to talk about that right now. But it's... I don't know. It seems to have a lot of newcomers or people new to the game have a hard time adjusting to it as opposed to maybe Halo 3, 
get this awesome just rampage going on here that running riot now notice this point right here that enemy throws a grenade and I saw it so I decided to sit there and crouch and wait it out it wasn't worth jumping back up in case I didn't get the kill on the person because that grenade could have caused me to lose the fight and it's small little quick things like that that will cause you to win or lose any firefight or even the game so pay more attention to the small things your enemies do maybe the small choices you make maybe don't rush in as much sit back give it a second it might not be the best time to take in or take on those enemy sorry I had to got a little caught in my throat I am gonna be uploading my second video today to make up for my lack of a video yesterday but I'll be uploading it later tonight because I don't wanna you know oversaturate and that would just be bad I wanna gather my thoughts and everything and plus I have to go work in lab here shortly so that is going to be taking up some time now here we are coming up to my my end of my sad sad sprees got 27 kills my poor teammates are just trying to make it through trying to trying to survive I will be playing a lot less aggressively in the next few minutes and that is just because I don't have a power weapon the enemies I assume do have a power weapon or all of them but I'm not really sure in hindsight I don't think they picked up too many of the power weapons and I find myself stuck in situations like this where maybe I should have ran away to the other side so that I could have a easier time getting more kills this was not the most efficient place to be for me because I'm only taking on one maybe two guys here or girls sorry I haven't caught myself in a long time whereas I should be taking on the entire team and it kind of cost me here because if I had ran around the other way I would have confronted that person head-on rather than from the back or from the side so small things like I said it, they make a huge difference I noticed th the enemy team is just compiling right over here and I just kind of sh fire down range I chose the worst time to reload I totally could have had a double kill right here at least if I had had my SMGs or at least one kill but I decided to reload and I just didn't have any guns so I just went in with the melee to try and eke out any bit of damage that I could and that did not work in my favor as we come to the end of the game I hope you appreciate me stealthily sitting back and waiting for that assassination to come to me I hope you enjoyed this gameplay because I know I did. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of aggression. So it was a it was a good one to film. I enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Shadow Rockets out.